Hey guys, welcome to Great Learning. With over 1 billion active users every month, I think it should come as no surprise to all of you all that Instagram is one of the most popular social media platforms out there, correct? Now this opens up a lot of doors if you are a person who's looking into marketing and if you want to get the word out, let's say about your product, service or brand. But then there is actually a lot more than what meets the eye, especially with this platform and marketing in it. It takes a good amount of knowledge and skill to, uh, you know, successfully establish yourself and run a good marketing campaign. Now, keeping this in mind, we here at Great Learning have come up with this video where we're discussing a lot about the marketing fundamentals which are necessary for Instagram. Using this, you will be able to get a grasp about all of these important concepts that govern the aspects of Instagram marketing itself. Now, before we get started, I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy. This is a free initiative by Great Learning where you get access to over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on all of the trending high demand domains that we have, be it uh, data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, programming, cloud computing, digital marketing, DevOps, management, and a lot more absolutely free. Now we have have award-winning academicians and leading industry experts who design all of these courses. And the best part, you can also get a free certificate of completion when you enroll and complete all of these free courses. You will of course get access to all the presentations, be it the code notebooks, data sets and the quizzes as well. So as of now, we have courses in English and Hindi. You can use these multilingual approach to make sure that you have the best learning experience possible in the language that you are comfortable with. So make sure you check out the description box of this video to get access to all of the relevant courses on Great Learning Academy. So what are you waiting for? Register now and start your learning journey today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from Great Learning. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, right? So make sure you share this video with your friends, colleague and everyone who can make use of it. And at the end of it, make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or any suggestions and I'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments. Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about Instagram and Instagram marketing. My name is Pranay Aluria and I am a digital marketer from last seven years. We will start with Instagram statistics first in this module. To understand why Instagram marketing is important for anyone and why in Instagram marketing is going to be the future for all the users and all the content creators, we are going to understand why people and brand wants to do Instagram marketing and what is Instagram growth. Let's move ahead. So 1 billion plus monthly active users are there on Instagram in 2020. That's a huge and enormous opportunity for each and everyone and the reach and potential is really great. 500 million plus daily active users. That's also a daily reach which you can expect while growing on Instagram. And that's why it's important to grow on Instagram. Number of businesses on Instagram are 25 million plus. So the, it's not only the content creators which are there on Instagram uh, who are just casually doing a time pass or you know who are just casually browsing Instagram right now. There are also businesses which are making a meaningful impact with their consumers and customers on Instagram. And they are doing Instagram marketing very effectively. Number of photos and videos uploaded every day are 100 million plus. That means that a lot of content is being created every day on Instagram. And it's important how you stand out and are considered unique amongst these 100 million plus content every day. And that's why Instagram marketing and understanding of Instagram marketing is really, really important. Users spend average 28 minutes on Instagram. Now, they are consuming a lot of content in various formats on Instagram. Hence, Instagram marketing is not just only about one kind of format. It's also about understanding how users are spending time on Instagram. And 28 minutes is a good time 
uh, if a person is spending that much amount of time on any social media and specifically instagram let's now understand the demographics on instagram first so 57% are females and 43% are males on instagram that means that the ratio is not skewed toward any one gender and the reach and the opportunity potential is for both the genders so for any content creator or any brand which is looking to maximize and do instagram marketing is going to be beneficial that they are able to reach both the genders equally while this can be different for different countries and different for different languages as well but if you see the overall market the difference is not that huge and hence the opportunity is very good 89% of the users are outside usa while initially when instagram was launched usa was considered as biggest market but now because of its global presence and its high adaptability the number of users outside usa have grown rapidly and out of those 1 billion plus monthly active users 89% of the users are outside of usa initially when instagram was launched it was a photo sharing app which catered mainly to the teenagers or younger generation but over the period of time the audience has evolved and now there are lot more of people in the age bracket of 25 to 34 which is currently at 35% 30% of the people are aged between 18 to 24 which is generally the college going group 130 million accounts tap on shopping related posts so while people are consuming content and watching videos on instagram interacting with their friends they are also tapping into shopping related posts as well that means the users are engaging on such kind of activities which are related to shopping or e-commerce on instagram which is a huge huge opportunity and a huge huge number and which makes instagram marketing even all the more important let's move ahead let's understand how instagram for business is evolving and how the numbers look like so 2 million plus monthly advertisers as 1 billion plus monthly users are there on instagram and with 500 million plus daily active users and with people also tapping into shopping products and e-commerce products and different products and services in general so for advertisers it's also a great opportunity and that means that lot of businesses are coming to instagram to promote their products and reach out to their potential customers half a million plus active influencers now as people start gaining followers and lot of these big uh, users who have gained a lot of followership and views and reach they have become active influencers and these influencers are also custodian of instagram marketing and also taking the instagram marketing ahead while these instagram active influencers are being paid on the basis of followers viewers and reach it is it is quite varied across the genre but still instagram has evolved into influencer marketing and influencer marketing has become an important part of instagram now 60% of the people say they discover new products on instagram that means it's not just only about shopping products or e-commerce products for all different kind of businesses or different kind of products which people tend to explore the amount the 60% of the people are able to discover new products that means that the refreshness on the platform and the new uh, ab- ability of the businesses to provide something new on the platform is quite high and it's quite good so 200 million plus people visit at least one business profile daily knowingly or unknowingly they are tapping into business profiles and reaching out to the businesses and how whether it can be through ad or through the organic post and that means that business profile has Im- immense reach on instagram and these people are and these accounts and these brands are doing instagram marketing quite effectively and that's how they are able to reach their potential customers and consumers 70% shopping enthusiasts take instagram for product discovery let's say if you're looking out for ideas what you are looking to buy a new apparel or home decor so instagram provides a great platform for, as a discovery platform it's not only about push marketing which happens on instagram it's also about how different people are discovering new products they believe that instagram has that potential and they are able to find and they will be able to find new products and hence they are able to do that as well so it influences a shopping behavior a lot and that's a huge opportunity for anyone who is looking to build e-commerce or shopping related businesses 
on Instagram. Now let's move ahead and understand why Instagram market. Now let's understand that in detail. Now as we have seen the statistics and we have seen the numbers that okay one should do and go and do Instagram marketing. But what are the other reasons people do that? You know, apart from the enormous reach and enormous huge potential of the users, but why people or brand do Instagram marketing? So the first reason is create personal brand. So what exactly is personal brand or personal branding? Personal branding is about what people know you for. It's a conscious and intentional effort to create perception of an individual or a brand. It's important for multiple reasons. Let's say you are a food blogger and who is trying to build yourself as a very influential food blogger or who has a expertise in that. You will constantly build content around that and push through Instagram and try to create your followers and increase your followers reach as well. Now, over the period of time, it builds confidence in yourself as well. Because now you are not shy, you are not feeling introvert. You will create an audience which will listen to you. It makes you stand out of the crowd and be confident about yourself. And that's what a lot of people and a lot of brands are trying to do on Instagram. And they incorporate Instagram marketing in their DNA. And that's why they go ahead with Instagram marketing and Instagram as a channel. Second reason to create personal brand is builds credibility. People relate to you for particular skill sets, for a particular niche. For example, Neil Patel is known for digital marketing. People trust him for all aspects of digital marketing and regard him highly in this field. Hence, people trust you for the knowledge about that niche, the expertise you have. And that builds a lot of credibility for yourself. And as your personal brand, it's important that you have credibility. And whenever you reach out to your potential audience, they know you, they understand you and they believe you whatever you are saying. And Instagram provides a very good channel and a very good platform for creating a personal brand. And Instagram marketing ensures that a very strong personal brand is able to build along with its credibility. The third reason why people want to create a personal brand through Instagram marketing is to build connections. It gets you connections and networking. It gets you to the people who are like-minded. It helps your business grow. It connects you with the relevant audience and helps you build a niche on Instagram. It brings you a lot of new business opportunities as well. Hence, a lot of connections and a lot of networking helps you in creating a personal brand. And that's why a lot of now influencers which pe- and a lot of people who are looking to become influencers are moving towards creating a personal brand to Instagram marketing. Second reason to do Instagram marketing or why Instagram marketing is important is getting followers and getting customers. So initially when you have just started on Instagram, Instagram marketing and Instagram strategies help you initially increasing your followers, helps you increasing your initial reach. Let's say you have just started with zero and you are pushing content on Instagram. You are applying all these Instagram marketing tactics and you slowly start getting followers. And once you start getting more followers with a particular niche or with a particular skill set which you have, you start attracting right right kind of relevant users on your platform. And hence, slowly your increase uh, and slowly your reach also increases. Now, over the period of time, let's say you have a substantial amount of followers and whenever you are posting content, it reaches to them. Now, it becomes like a distribution channel. So, what is a distribution channel? Uh, any distribution channel for any brand or for any personal brand is, is, is like a marketing channel through which you can push your products, your services and through which people are able to connect with you and able to consume your, your products and services as well. Now from your followers, they are able to become customers because you are pushing them marketing uh, activities and you are launching your products and your services. And also it builds a community. So like-minded people form a community and that's why your overall followers and reach will form a community and they will also have a lot of similar interest and similar uh, synergies between them. And that helps you uh, maximize your output and maximize your reach on Instagram. Because the engagement metrics will also be good. 
and over the period of time you keep on getting followers regularly now people who were initially your followers and expanding while their reach has expanded now they have also started becoming a customers we have because you made this as a distribution channel and you have started making uh, and pushing them your products and services now this these customers are driving you business and also increasing your brand reputation as well oh, over the period of time this also becomes an organic marketing channel because lot of brands and lot of uh, personal brands and lot of advertisers are dependent on the paid marketing to reaching out to their potential customers and potential consumers now once over the period of time when you have a substantial reach this this channel instagram marketing becomes organic marketing channel without any money being put into the marketing efforts and hence it becomes really important third reason for instagram marketing is updates and building reputation now instagram marketing also helps you in giving press releases on your instagram profile and reaching out to your existing audience let's say you have built a reputation you have built credibility you have built a personal brand you have also built or you are working for a particular brand in general and now you want to reach out to your existing audiences or existing customers and you want to tell what's happening in in your brand and you have certain updates that will really help you if you have new product updates you can also talk about them as well if you have new services you can talk about that as well any new update which you have you can make this through your instagram channel it helps you positioning of your brand as well let's say if you have a certain stand or certain ideologies and you want to build your brand reputation around that and you want to position your brand around that you can constantly and slowly do it on instagram and keep pushing it through the content marketing and instagram marketing another factor for doing instagram marketing is reaching out to your customers because lot of customers and lot of consumers reach out with their grievances and or, and their issues on the social media handles from your followers and reach there will be a lot of consumers over the period of time as in the previous slide you saw that lot of followers are also being made into customers so once they have issues or if they are not able to reach out to your team or if they have any issue which they want to you know resolve or you want to have a engagement connect with just with your consumers without any issue or without any problem you can use instagram for that and instagram gives you uh, multiple ways of engaging with your users and uh, with your followers uh, in the coming modules we will see what kind of different ways through which you can connect and engage with the instagram audience for a brand building trust is also very important for brand it's important that this social media image their trust is very high among the people and the sentiment is lot positive hence instagram marketing allows you to build that trust it helps you build a brand reputation so strong so that lot of other people are attracted towards it they are able to relate to it and becomes a very high brand recognition channel for lot of brands that's it guys in the first module welcome to the second module of instagram marketing fundamentals in this module we are going to understand about how to set up your instagram account and what are different types of instagram features let's move ahead so let's first understand how to set up right instagram profile and understand what are the different features of instagram profile first of all is profile image profile image is very important because it gives the first impression about your brand and your instagram profile you can have a brand image or a logo image as your instagram image it should be crisp and clear so that it's quick to understand what your brand logo or brand image is about it should be relatable to the people and people should be able to quickly understand it it should be unique and should stand out so that people are attracted towards it and people click on your image and your profile to see what it is about second profile description in your profile description slash bio you can write about your brand values and usps you can talk about what does your brand do and talk that in detail and it should be crystal clear and explains clearly what your brand is all about or what you are trying to achieve and what are you trying to build as your personal brand it should be written in a local or a global language so that people are able to clearly understand it 
third website link you should provide a short link so that people are easily able to read it website link builds more trust because it shows that you are being more transparent and you want people to know more about your brand and about yourself people can check your website and know more about you it also drives traffic to your website hence website link is very important high definition images for your posts now clear images and videos are very important because in the first glance it makes people compel to visit your profile and watch your content you should have well lit images and videos they should be edited you should use instagram filters or you should or you can use any other filters and any other apps as well they should not be clutter in the videos or images they should be crisp and clear and when people watch it they should be really feeling they, they repeat they should be very clear and people should feel delighted when they watch your videos and content fifth is instagram story settings now instagram stories is another way to which people interact with you and these are different settings for your instagram stories or for other post as well so it is important that you set this up correctly it depends on how do you want to respond to your followers because this also works like a communication channel let's say if lot of users are commenting on your instagram stories and you want to revert back to them they should be allowed to reply to your message as well it also builds transparency and tells people and your audience that this brand is looking to converse and is open to conversations and instagram stories is one way of communicating with the brand sixth privacy settings account privacy settings are very important they are important in two ways one of the reasons is that it reduces risk of hacking lot of influencers or lot of brands on instagram or any other digital media have a high risk of hacking and hence it's important that you set this up correctly initially you can also control what kind of post people can view or what post can be viewed by people or not if it's a private account or it's a public account or it's a business account that you can control at your end and it gives you a lot of content visibility control which you can change at any point of time but it's important that your privacy settings are set so that so that there is no damage to your account in the future seventh business settings so after setting up a business account it's important to set these settings on your account because these will give you additional edge over other people now there are a lot of different settings on a business account let's say set up instagram shopping so instagram shopping is a way so that you can tag products and when people click on it they can go to your website directly on the post now this is not available to everyone but once you set up a business account and once you have gained a minimum threshold of users and your followers then this opens up other features are available to you without any restrictions or without any condition so people who are looking to set up a shopping module or a e-commerce setup or a e-commerce brand it will really help them and if you set this up initially from the first post itself if you have started new or fresh on instagram and you're doing it doing instagram marketing for the first time you will definitely have an edge and it definitely drives results towards your sales and purchase and starts building your customers from starting itself now we are going to understand what are the different types of instagram post and what are the different type of content you can create on instagram first image post so on a image post simply you can add a location you can add relevant hashtags filters and captions while explaining what your image is about and whatever you are feeling or exp- or you are looking to express through this image you can also tag and mention other accounts as well in the caption and then in the description you can pin a comment now as well on instagram and the way of putting image can be a single image or in a carousel format which we will see in the next slide so you can create a video post as well either you can put a video in the single Im- image a uh, single format or you can also put video in a carousel format as well video post in the news feed can have a length of up to 60 seconds most time is spent on video content as obviously a image is only 
screen for maybe couple of seconds but if you are putting up a video for 60 seconds a lot more of people are able to consume a lot more of content and you are able to express yourself even more and hence videos are driving a lot more of engagement on instagram now instagram stories this is a feature where the image or the video disappears after 24 hours you can use videos images along with text music poll links to external website as well no limits on number of stories as they can disappear and you can add tens or hundreds and people tend to update them regularly brands tend to engage with their followers through instagram stories a lot because they constantly keep on putting a content which just disappears and it does not show in their news feed and that's very good and because of this you can push a lot of content let's say for example if you have a post and if you have an idea of content which you are looking to push on your news feed maybe you are putting three four news feed items news trees post a day in the stories you can make even shorter snippets of them maybe you can be a bit uh, more creative and put more stories in a day more than four and once they are disappear, then you can start with new stories as well. IGTV for videos more than 60 seconds and video length up to one hour can be uploaded on IGTV. As people started consuming a lot more of video content for the content creators and marketeers, it was important that they are able to reach out to their audience uh, through videos which are larger and longer in length because then the content consumption becomes higher the relatability with the brand, the engagement with the brand becomes higher and because of that this feature was launched and as a brand you should be uploading a longer videos because it tells and gives you more space to be more creative, it gives you more space to uh, express yourself in much more broader ways and that can actually make people follow you much more quickly because then people are able to understand your brand much faster. And because of that, now you can be able to create consumers and your first customers for Instagram much more faster because they understand your brand, they understand your product offerings. Because a lot of times it's not easy to make people understand what your brand is about in just 15 seconds or 60 seconds. And you need more, more length, more time, more content for that. And IGTV is a perfect solution for that. Recently, Instagram launched Reels which is a 15 second video format. Now this is uh, in the explore tab of Instagram. Uh, you can create videos up to 15 seconds, add music and effects to it. Uh, people, this is majorly for the people who have a very short attention span and as people are consuming a lot more of video content these days, as people are consuming a lot more of uh, short video format content across the platform on uh, other social medias as uh, platforms as well. Hence, Instagram has launched this. This has very high visibility in terms of reach and views because people are able to consume a lot more of content in a lot shorter time. And then explore uh, tab and feed is made in a way that you just keep, keep on swiping up and consuming the content. And that's why this is a new feature which is going to be uh, very effective in driving the reach and visibility for your Instagram and for driving Instagram marketing as well. Because once people reach and visit your Instagram profile, then you can direct them to your website as we have seen it earlier. So for your brand, it's not just about branding and awareness, which is happening through uh, Instagram Reels, but it's also uh, about more visibility and more traffic to your website as well. Hello everyone. In the third module, we are going to understand Instagram marketing strategies. What are the different strategies and what are the different ways you can implement Instagram marketing? Let's move ahead. First, Set up your goal for Instagram. This is important because it should be clear that what do you want to achieve out of Instagram? What is your goal and what is your end objective to Instagram? And why it is important? So the amalgamation of why and the goals is going to clear the path that this is what you are looking to do and how do you plan to achieve it? Let's say for example, if you are a food blogger, and you have a expertise or you have a hobby and you want to build a following about deserts in particularly in food then you know that you need to put content around food the reason you're doing this is because you want to be known as a food blogger who is uh, an expert in desert or who likes you know deserts and then you do you know that you don't have to 
put content around anything which is related to food and you know just showcase everything about food you just have to focus on dessert and then you will plan your content as well in that format and in that way that's why why plus goals are really important for starting your instagram marketing who is your target audience extremely important to understand whom you are trying to reach and who is your target audience there are different factors which are there different metrics different levers which are there to understand your target audience let's say for example country let's say you are in india but you want to also target and reach out to the audiences which are in usa which are in europe which are in australia because you feel that this for your product or services or for your content these countries are also important and then you understand that okay i have to create content which caters to people from these countries as well language let's say if you are making content let's say in hindi okay or let's say you are making content in spanish then it becomes quite a niche and it is restricted to and it is going to restrict to people to particular ethnicity or pe- uh, particular country and it might not give you the reach and might not give you the scale which you are looking at initially and the goal which is there it might be partially completed hence it is important to understand that the people and the audience which you are looking to reach what kind of languages they speak are you going to create the content on instagram for that and how does your uh, content in that particular language plays a major role in your instagram marketing age in which age group your your audience lies let's say if you are uh making a product which caters to more towards college students let's say mobile phone electronics gadgets uh which is more popular in the youngsters maybe and you are looking you're looking to make a post about that it's important to understand your tg and your age group as well let's say if you are going to talk about finances personal finance personal brand building that is more uh on the age group of 25 plus maybe and in that case it's important that how do you create your content your infographics and how do you deliver that so it's really important in that case income groups let's say your product your services or your uh, personal brand is about the services which caters to particular income groups maybe to a high income group maybe to a low income group it can give you an idea about in the long run when you are looking convert your followers into customers what you can achieve from that and if your kind of content and your kind of visibility is going to reach to that income group occupation what kind of occupation or what kind of uh, education your targeting group and targeting audience is having let's say as i said it can be a college student it can be a earning member it can be someone who has been in the job for last 15 20 years so it that helps you define the messaging and the communication which you can have for your instagram marketing what are their interests so a person has multiple interests let's say you can have an interest in deserts as well and you can have an interest in apparel shopping as well you have an interest in travel as well so mapping their interest and then mapping those interests to your content and marketing and communication will really help you a lot to tie up and write that kind of content so that people are able to engage with your content on instagram and these kind of people then eventually follow you and help you grow your followership on instagram competition analysis who are the competitors if you are trying to build a personal brand or if you are trying to build a brand and lot of other similar people are already doing that and if you want to have a competition i am i would say a healthy competition in that case you need to understand what they are doing what is their strategy how they have grown or how they are planning to grow or how they are growing in terms of their content how they are growing in terms of their followers what ways they have adapted are they running a lot of ads or they are growing organically if you see their ads or uh, not on instagram because as soon as you start interacting with them and if they are running an ad there is a high chance that you will see their ad as well 
so it's important to keep a track of that swot analysis swot analysis is strength weakness opportunities and threats on these four parameters analyze what your competition is doing and what you need to do to in case that you go faster than them you are able to fulfill your goals better than them and it helps you grow a lot so this is very important consistency consistency is the king on any social media platform because that's a very strong signal to the platform and to instagram that this person is being consistently putting content they have a lot of ideas you need to think of ideas in term i mean if you want to be consistent you need to think of ideas plan them ahead it's not like that you think of a content today and you put it right away no you have to think of ideas make a pipeline plan them ahead put them constantly put if you want to put three four content items per day that's okay if you want to do more that's also fine but the consistency should happen make variations of your images videos stories and reels similar one kind of content can be uh, redesigned into multiple aspects of instagram use your older performing ideas or other performing ideas which you have seen with the competition or if you have seen with your earlier post make make more iterations of that follow a niche and post regularly because these are strong signals to any platform that i am constantly getting lot of post lot of good quality content from here and i need to push it and once in a while your content goes to the much more wider audience which we called virality and that really helps you grow but the first thing which is important in that case is consistency so you should not be missing your schedules you should not be missing your posting times on the for the content convert your followers to customers how do you do that? you can run contests on your instagram profile let's say you are running a contest that who tags most friends who whose comment like uh, whose comment gets more likes they win a goodie or they win a hamper in that case the engagement is also happening uh, and let's say you, and the you, the end goal of the contest is something like you know people who win they have to register on our website or people who are getting maximum registrations on my website they get a giveaway in that case you are telling your followers to do an activity with you and which have a potential of ultimately getting you a customer okay now if you are building a personal brand it's not only about uh, getting like e-commerce shopping customers or something like that it can be some someone about who is taking your services right because you have built a credibility you have built a trust you have built a, a core audience about a specific skill set which you have right so you can do paid consulting as well and that's how you convert your followers to customers for the brands directly such as nike or any other fmcg brand or any other electronics brand for them it's about getting traffic and visibility and then converting their followers to customers as well giveaways let's say if you are telling people that okay more someone who gets me these many leads these many sales i, I will give a free iphone or free you know any other product free mobile phone free gadget and that brings a lot of traffic to your website in anticipation okay what is a free product or why they are giving a free product and eventually from that traffic some people also convert on your uh, website or for your product and then you get customers out of it you deliberately ask them to visit your website you tell them there is a link in the bio you tell them there is a link which i have shared on my uh just below the description and tell them and tell them about your product tell them explicitly okay you put up an instagram story you put up a igtv video talking about your product tell them to visit your website they do it and they consume your services and become a customer okay you constantly show your showcase your products and services so as in the earlier slides uh once you are setting up a business account for e-commerce and shopping you are constantly showing them your products and services or your profile or your personal brand is built in a way that you are always and constantly showing your services and products in that case it becomes really easier for you to convert your followers to your customers if the connect is there and people are able to understand you live launches you can do live videos on instagram as well and you can have a live launches 
of your products and services and exclusively for the people let's say for instagram followers only you are having a, a particular launch in that case people can have a much uh, higher engagement rates to your live stream and can react much more positively and much more aggressively and then the uh, proportion of the people converting from your followers to customers can be really high affiliate marketing let's say you share affiliate link and tell people that you know they can share this affiliate link and if from those affiliate link somebody gets you a sale you pay them commission okay or you create a affiliate marketing system in a way which you share it on the instagram so let's say you have one affiliate link which can be tracked and you give it to one of your uh, you know subscribers or one of your followers who have a lot of his own followers and you collaborate with them and you talk to them and tell them okay you know you share this affiliate link if i get a sale i will give you commission so in that case as well you can ask your own followers to provide you with uh, customers and that can be done on a mutual partnership of commission as well instagram ads one of the basic ways one of the easiest ways and one of the important ways to reach out to your uh, base to your target audience on instagram it's a crucial part of instagram marketing because you can run ads and sponsored posts for your products get additional followers through ads ads have a higher reach and much faster results capability so in that case you can really do that acquire customers as well as the reach not just the followers or not just the customers you can actually get the reach as well people who see your ads uh, over the period of time if people keep on seeing your ads they will have a brand recall as well they might not be your followers they might not be your customers right now but they will have a high brand recall and once you have a content which appears to them they will quickly engage with you because they have a very high brand recall for you for your existing followers you can increase engagement because they are not interacting with you right now they are not uh, actively engaging with your post because of the reach is not happening or they are you know consuming some other content and your content is not able to clear through the clutter and not able to reach them in that case instagram ads will really help you and help you in reaching out to your existing followers hello everyone welcome to the fourth module in instagram marketing fundamentals in this module we are going to discuss about some instagram marketing tips how you can incorporate these tips for enhancing your instagram marketing game and these will really come in handy and help you grow on instagram first use editing tools now a lot of people on instagram and lot of brands on instagram are taking professional help as well to edit their videos edit their creatives and there are lot of tools are available which can help you edit your pics and videos there are lot of free tools as well there are lot of free apps as well lot of them have a capability of professional editing as well it's also important to improve the sound quality as well of your videos all these factors combined has a potential to give you a lot more of visibility and lot more of reach because people will then be engaging more with your content so it is seen that for example it is seen that the videos and the images which are not well lit or videos or images which do not have a proper sound people do not tend to engage with them and lot of content creators and lot of brands personal brands do that mistake on instagram of not rectifying this and it's important for you that and as the people have a very short attention span it's important for you to make sure that you have very high quality edits and videos it's not just enough to use instagram filters it's okay that if you go for professional help as well lot of people who have set up their personal brands started taking the help from the professional people and did the editing and hence they have uploaded their content second is share your instagram profile with other people and on other platform as well so a lot of people don't tend to share their instagram profile on other platforms where they are there let's say if you have your major following on any other platform it can be youtube it can be twitter it can be pinterest it can be facebook it can be linkedin 
you should be sharing it on that as well. You should be first sharing your Instagram profile with your close friends and family because they will have a higher tendency of interacting with your content. And once they interact with your content, the engagement rates and the engagement metrics will be good. And once Instagram sees that, it starts promoting your content to other people as well. Now, in the Explore tab, the post or the content which is visible on Instagram or the content which goes viral on Instagram is having a lot of high engagement rate. And engagement is defined by people liking it, commenting on it, sharing it again. And that increases the reach and visibility. And when your friends and family do that, it's going to be higher. For example, if your 100 friends and family members go to your Instagram profile, and let's say 50 or 60 out of them re, you know, like your content and comment your content, that's going to be a very high engagement metric rate. Generally, that's kind of a metric rate is not there for even for the viral posts as well. So it, that's going to be a strong signal to Instagram. Now, if you have any strong presence on any, any other channel, apart from these social media platforms, you can have Telegram groups as well. You can put it on WhatsApp groups as well. So when you start putting your Instagram profile over there as well, people start recognizing you. People start knowing you, what you are trying to build what is your brand is about on Instagram. And these small, small tips and small, small shares across platform gets you visibility and gets you uh, profile visitors, your followers on Instagram without any paid advertising. You can write on Quora as well. For example, you can write about any topic on Quora and mention your Instagram profile. Let's say again, you are a food blogger or let's say you are a digital marketing person who has knowledge and expertise in digital marketing and you're talking about certain topic which you have you know just already shared on your instagram profile or you know about once you answer the question on quora you can just leave your quora profile uh, your, you can share your instagram profile link over there and people can follow you after coming from quora and quora has a very high intent audience because people are looking for questions and answers for particular questions if they get the right answer and they are able to connect with you, they will visit your Instagram profile as well. So it's important that you share your Instagram profile on other platforms as well in the right relevant communication. Third is post at the best times. Now, once you start putting content on Instagram and when you have a business account, you start seeing that at what times your users and followers are engaged or at what time they are uh, you know, sh uh, coming and liking your comment, uh, liking your, sorry, repeat. At what time they're reaching out to your content and engaging with your content. So in that case, you need to make sure that you're posting content around that time because that's the time when the engagement rate will be high. So once, as I said, the engagement re rate is high, your reach and other metrics will improve. Your visibility for your content, for your brand for your products it will improve over the period of time followers and the content viewers regularly anticipate and know at this point of time i'm going to get a content at this point of time in a day or this time of the week i'm going to get a content from this person or this brand whom i follow and when they do that it's going to bring a lot of loyalty and trust as well and in that case once you start pushing your content when you start pushing your paid services or your products and services, people will be happily and people will be uh, really able to connect with you because they are connected to you because they already know that you are posting some good content at some point of time. So this is a very crucial thing to do that at what time you post your content. There are days when there is hardly any activity on, you know, on the social media platforms and people are just keeping the social media aside. Uh, let's say, I mean, if you share something on Instagram at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, nobody is going to watch it. Hardly a few people are awake at that point of time. So the engagement won't happen. And when a lot, lot more of content creators and personal brands, so when a lot of content creators and the brands are pushing content around 8 o'clock in the morning, then your content gets lesser visibility because it's low in the priority, low in the, you know, in the row. So the timing is very important. Last, collaborate. Lot of 
initial content creators and lot of brands on instagram don't think that this is possible that you can collaborate with other instagram accounts or other instagram brands there are lot of small instagram brands as well there are lot of bigger instagram accounts as well and they are looking for similar synergy and they are looking for similar people to contact them so that they can work together let's say if you have 2000 followers on your instagram profile right now and there is another brand which has 4k for 3k you can create a content together now you have a certain style of content making they have a certain style of content making and you are marketing in a one way uh, you can get ideas how they are marketing i mean their pathway of reaching to 4k followers can be different than your pathway of reaching to 2k followers and in that case you gain something and they gain something right and because of that let's say now they have mentioned your profile and your instagram account on their platform all of their platforms including instagram and you have also done that so you will gain some of their followers you will gain some of the visibility from uh, people who have already seen their content but they are also able to relate to your content same will happen for them as well if you are able to reach out to some of the biggest influencers or some of the biggest instagram accounts suddenly you will see a spike in your followers because it increases your visibility quite sharply so let's say now you have a uh, a bigger brand in your niche and you are reaching out to them for let's say for a paid partnership where you are paying them you are telling them okay you know i want visibility please mention me in your stories or in your post and they do that okay so it, it's getting like a paid pr or a paid uh, advertisement only but from the relevant users because you know this person already has some kind of my target audience and it makes sense to pay them okay you can also partner with bigger brands for paid partnerships where brands pay you okay now what happens is let's say a brand pays you and says okay you know we will give you x amount of money okay now you need to promote our brand and you need to spend this additional amount as well because because you are a influencer and people uh will hold your thoughts and your view points and your promotions in, in very high regard so brand then trust you with even more money and more promotions okay they are paying you because they are paying you to run ads as well they are paying you to run uh, more promotions as well and in that case your reach is also increasing because now uh, you are getting visibility from the brands end as well now you are promote pushing uh, through the paid money to the paid uh, amount of the brand as well and also you are engaging with your uh, fans and followers again because you are promoting the product so these kind of models are also there and these kind of things are also important these are very uh, interesting hacks you can say these are tips and these are interesting hacks you can say which helps you grow and once you start and if your content is good and if once you start getting the engagement once you have the metrics once you have a pipeline set for your content and then your engine and then your exponential growth uh, and law of compounding comes into picture and suddenly you start seeing more growth but initially you can do this to get the visibility to get your instagram marketing rolling that's it from the fourth and the final thank you if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet i want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell this is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from great learning and of course guys if you enjoy this video show us some love and do like this video knowledge increases by sharing right so make sure you share this video with your friends colleague and everyone who can make use of it and at the end of it make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or any suggestions and i'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments